This is One on One. All right, now that we are properly dressed for dinner, just one more thing. Safety glasses? Would you pour the wine, please? Uh. Doing this. Just pour the wine, it's fine. That's why bears like this. Go ahead, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> God, hey, no. Stop moving. <laughs> See, look, I'm holding still. How is it? Why is this happening? My brain is signaling these electro pads to move my arm, and my arms are signaling you so you're to actually move yours. can't control me. <laughs> this is this is torture. I can't even enjoy my dinner. Don't disobey me. <laughs> I need that's nuts. Uh, that's that's you guys. Uh, Carrie Byron, uh, co-host of the White Rabbit Project, and Tori Belacci, uh, co-host of the White Rabbit Project, Netflix. Yep. What was that? Well, that was a that was a little demonstration we were doing. That's some amateur neuroscience, if you will. We were doing a uh, themed episode for White Rabbit Project that was about um, technology that you can apply to give yourself superpowers. And I was looking for something that would do mind control. And, you know, hypnosis, none of that's going to work. <laughs> so I found this guy who did neuroscience, and we hooked up these electrodes to me and hooked it up to him. She's sadistic. I invite him to dinner. She's got issues. Who are you people? <laughs> Who are you? Seriously. No. We, we are lucky. We got lucky because we, we kind of fell into a job and our skill set ranges from like blowing stuff up to building <laughs> c crazy contraptions. And now we found a new home at Netflix doing the show White Rabbit Project. And we are just building and recreating and, you know, investigating stuff in history, World War II weapons. Uh, speed freaks. I mean, each episode has a different theme. But the, but but here's the thing, Tori. The premise. All right, here's the, the premise is uh, three hosts go down a rabbit hole to investigate topics, science, pop culture, and history using a ranking system based off. Of, there's a whole description here. But what's it? What? All right. So so you know that moment. What, what are you talking? <laughs> oh, but hold on. Wait a minute. What? He goes like this. Hold on. He goes like this to me because you're Italian as well. Yeah. Well, we're American, yeah. but your family is originally descent. from Sicily. Sicily. Mine's yeah. from Naples. Yeah. And you're from, where in California? Uh, Monterey, California. And I was joking before we got on the air. I said, yeah, I come from a similar place, Jersey, New Jersey. And you said, that's it's, right. It's, a, it's the same place. Like, I'm telling you, come to Monterey. I mean, it's, the people are very similar to New Jersey. I'm just saying, you'll go there and you'll go, hey, I'm home. You'll, feel like, right? you, you'll feel like you're home. It's all right, I'm sorry. I, I, to me, all roads lead to Jersey in my world, but I'm sorry. So going back to the show. You'll right. be able to watch this in New Jersey me. on Netflix. Say that again? You'll be able to watch it in New Jersey, so the road leads what there, What do you think, sure. New Jersey's another country? Of course <laughs> you can watch it on Netflix. I was just trying to, like, you know, You're trying to bring it back, way, I'm sorry. Bring it, bring it back. Why don't you just take over the show, okay? That's, really? Okay. There's that little Jersey attitude for you. you got some questions so, there. Uh, I'm not using them. So how did you guys meet? Uh, well, we were uh, originally met on Mythbusters. Uh, we were both working on that show, and we spent over a decade developing a really strange skill set that is only applicable to entertainment because you can't really shoot guns, wire explosives, and weld in a cubicle. So we, we, we've got this opportunity to have a new show on Netflix, and we thought it would be really fun to do Where'd something. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in San Francisco area. So you're both from out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why we're a little weird. No, come on. That, 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 come on. No, but come on. You guys over here are like, oh, the guys in California, they're all weird over there. No, no, we don't. We don't true. On public television, we do not stereotype. I just want you to know Good. that. Good. We're different. So uh, I just stereotyped. <laughs> I know, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that? You picked it up? We're very urbane. He's good. So uh, <laughs> he is good. So that being said, seriously, back to the show. <laughs> Who's the audience? Who's the audience? Well, you know, we when Don't we were say on, everybody. everybody. <laughs> all over the world. And that's a cool thing is our show is going to the global platform all over the world. Because of the whole Netflix thing? Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's not just because of the Netflix thing. It's because the content of the show is very universal. It's, we're, we're looking at crazy things in science, technology, engineering, history, 
uh, folklore. You know, it's it's kind of a very universal show, and I think that's why we were hitting the global platform. Well, give us an example. We just saw this whole thing where you were screwing around with him with your mind, which freaked me out. Weird. Give us another really interesting one that will cause people to say, I want to check that show out. We did, uh, we were, there's one with sp uh, speed freaks, and we're looking at all different types of people who are into, you know, crazy speed. And, Going fast. And we, not, just had to. What are you interpreting for I, him I, now? I saw your face. You're like, hmm. you're like, what's the speed? Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and so we built a, a replica, 1902 replica land speed car. Uh, back in 1902, this guy Baker built this thing called the Torpedo, and it looked very wow. aerodynamic. Back then, all the you know cars looked like horse and buggy, and so they weren't aerodynamic. This guy went for the world record, but ended up crashing, so never recorded his speed. So I rebuilt it according to the specs, took it out to the desert to see how fast I could get it up to, to see if I could, you know, break that, his speed record, right? And as a true historian, <laughs> you replicated the whole thing by almost crashing continually. Yeah, the, the brakes failed and I almost uh, crashed. Wait a minute, Are, yeah. was it dangerous? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. What'd you have on? I had a helmet and, you know, Five point harness, but still, you're going 80 miles an hour oh and you God. crash into. In a homemade prototype, <laughs> yeah. replicating a car that crashed the first time around. What could go wrong? See, I told you we were weird in California. Did you. Uh, fascinated by science as a kid? Uh, yes. Fascinated? Fa to, to this day. Because? Um, it's really just curiosity, and I've always been a curious person. I've got an artistic background, and I think it's sort of the same thing. Artistic? More uh, destructive. Like, like, I almost set my parents' house on fire twice when I was a kid. What was it, like, last week? I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, now, now, see, now. See, I'm sorry. My producers are so mad at me for doing this right now. They're like, take this serious. I do take it very serious. Right, no, this is very, fun. Yeah. You can I'm tell. Sorry, what do you want me to ask? Go ahead, I'll ask. This is a very serious topic. They want to ask, what is the connection to STEAM? Oh, to STEAM. Yes. Science, technology, engineering, arts, mathematics. We want to oh, teach. You got real serious. I got serious. Yeah, that's good. It's public television. We don't fool around here. Yeah. <laughs> STEAM. Well, you know, we, we've, our audience has always been very science oriented and we, we came up using science as a tool. So we are investigating, you know, the, the latest in sciences and technology, clearly engineering in the building, art, that's, that's, that's easy for me. It's a, that's my passion. And, well, there's always math in everything you do, so. Mm. But we also like to do crazy stuff on the show, as you can see. You know, so, we're, we're definitely putting our lives, you know, we're human guinea pigs, I guess you could say. That's what, have, what haven't you done that you say to yourselves, we're going to do, or we'd like to do? We always figure out a way to do everything we want to do, mostly. But Are you serious? But there's a few mostly. things we haven't done. And, you know, if, By choice? If, well, no, because... Either the Canadian government won't let us do it, or... <laughs> what does the Canadian government the, have to do with it? I want to go over the Niagara Falls in a barrel. Wouldn't that be cool? Build your own, like, build a barrel that was... And this might happen. If we get season two of White Rabbit, this it's is definitely bad. something that's on the, the list. Explain this again. Uh, going over the Niagara Falls in a barrel. Describe the barrel. Yeah. Um, however you want to build it, but, like, build it to the point where a person could survive every single time. How would you know that? That's a good question. They're not going to let him do it. Don't worry that much. But I mean, we could test. <laughs> we could test. No, but you could test with you know an accelerometer how much what? an accelerometer to see how fast it's going. So that, see what that, kind of G's you're so doing you on hit, the body. The accelerometer will tell you how many G's Got it, it. it experienced. Do you have family that cares about you? <laughs> I'm just curious. I, mean, yeah, <laughs> I text his mom every now and then just to say he's okay. Uh, I tell her after what I do. So I don't tell her what I'm gonna do. I tell her after I do it and then I was okay. When you got this gig and you described the gig to your respective loved ones, how did you describe it? Uh, my husband married into it. My family's used to it because, you know, for the past decade we've been doing wild and crazy things, you know, on cable. And so this, this actually seems calm. <laughs> compared yeah. to some of the things we've done. Yeah, it, it, they were all super excited, the fact that we were on Netflix. Just because that seems to be the future of the way people are viewing, right? Because all 10 episodes will go up, and you could binge watch, or you could space it out and watch however you want. So they were really excited about that, but it just also freed us up to do kind of things that we weren't allowed to do on cable. 
So the question about getting not just young people, but people in general, viewers, interested in science, but doing it in a very entertaining way. I mean, is that, in all seriousness, mm -hmm. is that the ultimate goal, or is it just, we're trying to entertain people? Well, here, here's the thing is, we use it as a tool, and we're having fun, and if you're watching us have fun, you have fun too, and it's almost like hiding the broccoli in the cheese sauce. You're having so much fun, you forget you're learning something. Why do you have to be so negative about the broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> Why is broccoli taking a hit? But you, I, we, the, the point is well taken. PBS is very fair to broccoli. PBS is very fair to broccoli. <laughs> and we love cheese. broccoli. And cheese. Have you, yes. No, no, cheese is You broccoli. can't deny that cheese makes cheese. broccoli better. I have no idea where this conversation is going, but I'm thankful we have a minute left. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Got a minute left. What have we not touched on? Um, we do so many crazy things in this episode. I shoot lightning bolts out of my hands. Uh, what? Yep, Carrie goes for a ride in an Indy car. I mean, it's literally we're doing over the top crazy stuff all in the name of entertainment and science. Did you miss anything? I don't think so. It's on Netflix? You're, yeah, yeah, you're pretty okay. covered. So here we go. It is called The White Rabbit Project. It can be seen on Netflix. Uh, so explain the Netflix thing to people. They you go, Netflix. You go online, Netflix you is subscription-based, and then you can we watch... We got it in our house. You can watch everything that they it. offer. So my wife and I can just watch you guys yes. anytime we want. Anytime. On, I shouldn't say on demand, but you're right there, because yeah. we paid for it. He gets it. You get it. I get it. He gets it. Us millennials get it. Gets it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't know. Stop laughing. I'm not laughing at that. Carrie Byron and Tori Balachi. <laughs> oh, you ruined it. <laughs> I did good. I didn't leave these two alone. Quick, say it again. <laughs> Bleach. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by RWJ Barnabas Health, Georgian Court University. The New Jersey Association of Health Underwriters, Fedway Associates, Choose New Jersey, Adler Aphasia Center, and by NJM. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.